All right, what is going on guys? It's Zach and today I'm gonna to be filming a little bit of a different video. Uh, yeah, I kind of just want to talk to you guys. You know, I've had a lot on my mind lately. Lots been going on this year. This video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm just gonna be hiking around some pretty nature. Not really looking for anything in particular. We're not gonna be targeting any animals or doing it. If we see something, great, but the purpose of this video is really just to inform you guys and, you know, just talk to y'all. So, let's go. This will be fun. I think it'll be fun at least. Got a little bit of a new camera grip here. I think it's a lot less shaky, which is very nice. I kind of like this longleaf habitat just to kind of hike and talk because it's kind of open. I've got snake boots on, so I can actually kind of focus on the camera a little bit and not just be looking around, you know. Some of y'all might have noticed that over the last month, I haven't really posted much. And uh, I actually haven't posted since the West Texas videos. Which really, that was a short trip that we took in July. So I have not been filming nearly nearly as much. Things have kind of just been crazy lately. Uh, for one, as many of y'all know, we had Hurricane Ida. Some of y'all who follow me on Instagram will know me and my entire family did have COVID for about three weeks and whew, that was rough. I tell you, that was, that was gnarly. Uh, I, it literally immobilized me for three weeks, but I was still posting the West Texas content during that time, so y'all were still getting videos while I was sick. And yeah, it's just been a lot happening at once. And I've noticed that it's not just me. It's like a lot is happening for a lot of different people all at once. I noticed for me specifically 2021 is honestly being more like 2020 was for other people. I mean, just sheer chaos, craziness, very unpredictable things happening. Uh, so I hope you guys are all all right. You know, I've noticed that it hasn't just been me. It's been a lot of different people that have been having this. That's not actually the reason that I haven't been posting anything. You know, I actually have posted through crazy times anyway. But uh, I could have posted after COVID. In fact, I've actually got two videos backlogged right now that are in editing. The actual reason I haven't been posting really is just because I want to change a little bit. For one, the channel is kind of in a, a dry spot, and I think that's because I am in a dry spot. And what I mean by that is, I don't know, I always enjoy finding new animals, and I really, really worked my butt off this year to find new animals. If you're in a new location, everything's new. And I guess I was feeling a little bit of burnout, you know? Which is weird because this year was probably one of my best wildlife filming years ever. I found so many new things, hooked up with so many different people to find so many different species. And I was still kind of feeling this burnout with the channel. So I just wanted to take a break, honestly. And what's weird is I didn't actually take a break. Meaning this in the last three or four weeks where I haven't been posting, I've still been constantly thinking about video stuff, but it's kind of given me this time to reset. And I talked with some friends about it. I talked with Spencer, the channel editor, who would also come down in June. And uh, I don't know, I felt like it was time to change some things with the channel. And that's really more what I want to talk to you guys about. So since the start of my channel, everything's been fairly basic. I walk out, you know, I show you guys kind of filming an animal that we found talk about it a little bit and then release it pretty basic stuff uh, nothing super complicated besides the actual process of finding the animal sometimes but just that I even thought about that was you guys really don't get to see the process of what it takes to sometimes look for these animals I feel like there's a lot of fun stuff that y'all miss along the way when it comes to these videos you know the story kind of behind each little outing you know, I mean, each time is just a brand new adventure. And that's the name of the channel is Life's Wild Adventures. And when I came up with the channel name originally, you know, a few years back, the word adventure was kind of to keep things a little bit more open, meaning to where I could kind of do what I want. I feel like I haven't really done that over the course of the channel. You know, it's like I've kind of locked myself down. You know, I've kind of just been thinking about what I want to do. And I kind of realized along the way that the lack of direction with the channel was also my lack of direction, meaning with what I wanted to do. A lot of stuff has been very vague, you know, like my goals with the channel and my goals with my own life, you know, obviously y'all can tell that I want to be a zoologist. I kind of want to like focus in a little bit more, not just with the channel, but with myself in general, like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. I don't know if any of this is making sense. 
just kind of out here in the middle of nowhere talking to a camera. But the more videos I've done, the more I've realized that I've kind of fallen in love with doing YouTube in general. Like, I couldn't imagine myself, even if I didn't do this as a career, I couldn't imagine myself wanting to stop making YouTube videos ever, you know? It's like, it's my weekly thing. It's what I do. Even if it wasn't weekly, I'd still probably be wanting to do it at some extent. You know, there, there's something to YouTube. And it's in the title. It's you. YouTube. It's the person on camera making the videos. And it's you watching the videos. Our saying with the channel has always been, and this has kind of been more private, so y'all probably haven't heard it a bunch, but, you know, how can we make the animal the star? And that is really true to an extent with, I think, any wildlife cinematography. You need to make this animal special. But also, you know, I'm in my videos too. And I've kind of ignored that blatant fact. I know y'all haven't because, you know, y'all come to see me every single week talk about a new animal. But I personally have not really focused on me and my own videos. And I feel like there's been some fun lost there. And I think that's what this needs to be directing it is that I want the channel to be more fun you know uh, I oftentimes don't show people my own videos but there's a couple videos that I'm really proud to show people my flying squirrel video that we had done uh, I absolutely loved it it was just silly and fun and nothing was really all that crazily different you know it's still completely educational all about the animals I don't think we're gonna lose anything with this I think the channel is still gonna stay pretty pretty well the same in most regards. Let me see if I can explain this better while walking. The thing that I really get excited about in my videos is looking for something for a long time and then finding it and then showing it to you guys. You know, that's, it's really satisfying to do. And that's what I want to show you guys more of. Uh, I want to show you guys more silly shenanigans while we're at. I want to be more entertaining to where you guys are actually kind of having fun and feeling like you're on the adventure with me, not just we're going to look for an animal. Hey, seven hour time skip. Oh, look, we found it, you know? Uh, I want there to be a little bit of progression. I want y'all to kind of feel what it takes to find wildlife sometimes to where you can enjoy it with me as much as I do. Because obviously I'm going to enjoy some of these tiny rare snakes and all these little tiny bugs a lot more than other people are because I spent the time looking for them. And that's what I really want to figure out how to get across in my videos. I think it'll give it a different feel. Now I know that a lot of people with this channel will kind of see the Steve Irwin influence and that's I guess just because I grew up watching Steve Irwin it's kind of have that little bit of a style to it and it's also my style at this point practically how I present animals but everything else along the way uh, I feel like it should be unique and special and I feel like the segments themselves should be special it's my channel I think I need to start learning to have fun with it again so when I brought up direction with the channel and I also talked about direction with me that, I think, is going to be the biggest change. So, I've been kind of thinking about what I want to do, my own goals, and obviously my job is zoology, education, and conservation. But what, what do I want to accomplish with all this? And, uh, you know, I had some thoughts on it. If I'm gonna do this, why not be the best at it? I know that sounds kind of vague, but why not be the very best? at what I do. Why not save more species than anybody can count? Why not make more educational videos on more animals than anybody ever has? Why not discover 90 species along the way? There's no reason for me not to do it. Now I think I've got the energy <laughs> on some days to do it. Uh, once again, I don't know if I'm coming across as pretentious here, but my beautiful little camera just died on its pedestal. So we're filming the rest of your phone. I only really had one thing left to say after that, uh, you know, string of questions there, but, you know, if I'm going to do this channel and I'm going to incorporate myself into it, I'm going to state my goals for everybody right now. But aside from conservation and aside from educating the public, my goal is to become the world's greatest zoologist. And that is going to be starting this year. I'm going to start doing the work, putting in the work, learning and doing everything that I can to accomplish that. What does that look like? Well, I think it's gonna start right here in Louisiana. I think I've got a lot of work to do, but it starts with me getting a little bit better at finding stuff locally, learning, being the best at it, genuinely. And who knows, maybe we'll do a bit more travel this upcoming year. Some pretty crazy places, but hope you guys come along for the ride.
And I hope you guys enjoy the upcoming content. Hope it's not too different. Hope you guys still enjoy it. And I hope you learn something new.